Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a very awesome reading, Capricorn. I feel like we do. And uh, somebody in this reading very much desires you. And uh, we see it with the queen. She's holding uh, the apple. And, uh, you know, she's sitting on this, uh, on her throne, of course, right? We also have the Garden of Insights preceding that. Somebody here is trusting their intuition. And not just that, because they, they really desire you, but this person, whoever they are, uh, Capricorn, I believe it's them because I have their cards right here. And if you guys know how I do it, I always pull like three cards for your person. And then I go into the extended with those cards. And, uh, here is, uh, the adoption. That's what they call it. Maybe somebody wants to adopt a child here, but it's usually about giving something up. That's really what it means. Right. And so somebody desires something they want to give, they want to give up their relationship. It looks like, because we have the standing alone card and he looks up at this, uh, this kind of castle where he wants to live. So before we, uh, keep going, you guys, if you want a free psychic reading, there's a free five minute one available. You just click on the link below. Yeah. All the information is there. Yeah. So with this standing alone card, Sagittarius uh, Capricorn, I beg your pardon. He's looking up here at the house. And he's standing down here in this black kind of canyon, like in the dark. And this talks about somebody who like aspires and knows they can have a happier, better life, but they have to love themselves. We have the next card. They have to have enough self-worth here. You can't get anything in this life without self-worth unless, you know, your parents handed it to you and you had some type of a silver spoon. Uh, that never happened in my life, right? No, growing up mostly in in San Francisco. <laughs> uh, yeah. And so, uh, but that's okay because this is how you build character. Uh, when you, you know, you have to carve your own life out. Yeah, it is. Um, mm -hmm. but you know, here is the loving gaze and the loving yourself card Capricorn shows up for your person, uh, as a challenge, but it shows up as a supporting card because they want to give something up a relationship and that will help them their self-worth, but they have to have the self-worth first. So let's see what else we have. And this loving yourself card, Capricorn, all about your person. This is them, but this talks about like, bring me that mirror. And this, uh, there's another person in the, on the reading and the person is handing the mirror. But when your person looks in the mirror here, they don't like, because of you, they don't see like, they don't get hurt or anything, even though they know that they are not standing in their power. Instead, you have found some way to build them up without tearing them down at all, right? Instead of saying, come on, wake up, you, you know, come on, you dodo bird. Like, what are you doing here? What, what are you doing? Why are you living that type of a life here? We know they're unhappy here with standing alone. So, but you, you have been, you have done this. So you have like empower, help empower this person, but in the most positive way, Capricorn. So, you know, uh, yeah, we're going to send you a little, uh, we're going to send you a little prize here for your, you know, your psychological and your, uh, your great self help here, because it has been very positive for them. And let's see what else we have. And that was in your person's crossing or challenging energy. Let's see what we have. And we have the community card for Capricorn here in this reading Capricorn. This talks about somebody who wants to exile. They want to leave where they're at. And that's what uh, Leslie Mormon Silka was about. She doesn't want to leave. Uh, and this is, and she's trusting her intuition to leave. And you can see the path here uh, underneath the cat or the cat is, you know, she's making her own path here, but she's trusting her intuition. And this matches the garden of insights. Yeah. Let's see what else we have Capricorn in this reading. These could be your energies, but they may, I feel like it is your person's card and we have freedom Capricorn. Your person wants their freedom freedom, right? Yeah. They want their freedom to, to be with you and have a happier life. This is cute. This is beautiful, right? Let's see what else we have Capricorn. And we also have the trickery card. So they are not trying to trick you Capricorn. No, you're helping them build their self-esteem. They're not going to bite the hand that feeds them. <laughs> They're not. And, uh, this, I feel like your person's going to have to trick somebody for their freedom. I feel like that's it. I mean, this could be self trickery, right? We, we know that that happens, but I don't believe that this is what this is, was about. Your person could have been lying to themselves about maybe in the past and in denial about 
them maybe having their freedom or standing in their power and a lot of people do it right we don't and we know that you're helping this person capricorn yeah yeah we're gonna send you like a a little gift certificate for better homes and gardens yes we are do, are they do they even have that magazine anymore <laughs> let's see what we have let's see uh what we have capricorn and we're gonna use these cards and let's see. You're worried, Capricorn. You're worried about them. This has been kind of an ongoing. Maybe this is them worrying, but the hermit showing up here, confirming spiritual growth. Yeah. Or confirming somebody likes to wear green uh, drapey clothes, right? Mm hmm. Speaking of drapey clothes, they look more and more uh, interesting uh, or. Uh, more and more practical every day because it's going to be, you know, 90 degrees here, right? We have the five of wands. Let's move the camera back and we have the, everything's shut here because of the heat, right? Uh, and so hopefully these uh, cards are being seen by you, Capricorn, they are. And we have the five of wands, five of swords reversed, five of pentacles. Wow, Capricorn, these are endings, these fives, and they are all difficult yeah, they talk about change. So let's cover up the world card because that's in your hopes. And uh, maybe you want to go dancing with them. Maybe you do. Maybe you want to get in your birthday suit with them. It's your birthday, right? But, you know, this is usually I want to cycle to end and I want a new. I want to start a new chapter. And I'm sure you want to start it with them. Yeah, this is like collateral, right? This is clear. Let's see what else we have. You could be hoping this person has learned. The world card talks about a full maturity. Yes. Mm hmm and it's a major wish and in the outcome is the nine of pentacles and we have the freedom card this person wants to be free free to be who they are and free to love you Ooh, it, a little bit like Sagittarius is reading but a little it's different though like the timing and it's just a little bit different here but uh mm -hmm. because your person Capricorn had to go to uh they had to like listen to a few self-help tapes they did right or cassettes or not cassettes you guys <laughs> but they had to watch a few uh, a few dvds or they had to watch a few podcasts and that's fine hey however you get there that is the point right yes and those self-help those are good i'm going to be teaching it myself yes i am uh love to help empower people yes for sure right Mm hmm you need to be empowered in today's world yeah and we're not going to discuss why no we're not here's the six of wands and the six of swords so we have three fives and two sixes sixes are priorities and fives are change you're worried here if you're gonna have a victory or if this person is in transition or if they're gonna put themselves in you know change a transition is change right T-R-A-N-S is change, isn't it? Yeah, transportation, how to, you know, uh, get something to a port, how to, you know, trans, trans is change, transformation, yes it is, changing the form is transformation, and whatever else uh, trans is you guys can think of, right? But, you know, this transition, a Capricorn, is what you're worried about, this person's changing, and that is the best uh, transition you can hope for yourself if you want this person right of course and the hermit shows up and the eight of swords reversed is here and this is in the past this person knows they want to release themselves they figured it out i feel like you were worried if they were yeah you were but you know never fear capricorn yeah yeah power lights here this is what we have we have the empress and we have the knight of wands so this is your mindset. Are they going to take action and come? Are they going to have courage? Are they going to take action? Are they coming? Things like that. I'm pretty sure here, right? Uh, and you are the empress here, Capricorn. You're sitting here like a little queen. You are. Mm -hmm. You just ate your apple and uh, mm -hmm. you, you, had your, you had your dandelion tea here because, you know, you're out in the middle of the meadow, right? <laughs> and uh, yeah, you are. You're like, I only want natural food, right? So <laughs> that means you had to turn down a whole bunch of food here that you were driving down the street, right? <laughs> and so, uh, you know, we have the five of wands and this is in the near future for you. 
Let's see what else we have. We're going to use this other deck here as well. Yeah. Five of Wands. Uh, and uh, this is uh, competition or struggle or strife with the determined man, right? So they're showing his only his chest, but hey, you know, uh, we don't know if that will be just, you know, uh, just too much here. So we're going to cover him. But, you know, this is somebody who's determined here. And they're determined because you helped them, Capricorn. You sent them a little pill. And the pill that you sent was, you know, it said on the, it was really a placebo. But you told them that it was, you know, it was to help boost their self-worth, right? <laughs> oh, my God, right? And so that's, that's what you kind of, they're like, oh, good, look, I'm, you told them that, and then they took that pill, and then they felt better, right? A lot of people, a lot of people, uh, placebos, people, some people don't know about that even. They're like, no, dude, placebos, like, it can be good for some people who are hypochondriacs, right? So let's get back to this, Capricorn. We have the five of swords reversed. This is your concern. This could be, maybe it's a worry, but... Uh, I feel like it's, uh, let me straighten this out here. In your concern, Capricorn, is, uh, like, is, is this despair going to go away? Or is there going to be a, a victory and a defeat here? Because I feel like we have the Six of Wands. That is a victory. It's a recognition. But as I was saying, you don't have victory, basically, unless you have some major recognition that you're either going to go get it or that you, you know, that you're stepping into your power, things like that. Nobody hands you a victory in this world, no. And if they act, act like they're going to give you something, there's a heavy price to pay. And if you guys are following what I'm saying. Yeah, and we have, uh, Capricorn, we have the, your in your concern is a labyrinth reverse. So you're wondering, is this person going to like pull themselves from the five of swords energy, like this kind of despair or chaos and conflict, and get out of this maze, Right? You know, the maze could be, you know, maybe they were, you know, kind of just, you know, going along with their own self-mind effery. We don't know. I mean, that's kind of a not, not a nice way to say it, but it does seem like your person was kind of in this kind of lower self-worth world. Well, I, I can't have that or it's too hard for me to have it. But they know now with the standing alone card, because he looks up in this card over here, he looks up at the, I'm not going to move the card because it's kind of covered, right? He looks up Capricorn right here at this, uh, this building here, this house, this huge like mansion. It's a castle like, right? But he looks here, he goes, I can have that. He goes, I want that. I want to live a happier life. I can have that right now. I'm down here in the dark, basically the dungeon, right? Yeah. And so yeah, you're wondering if they're going to, like, release themselves, basically. Five of Pentacles and the Fish card is in your environment. This is good luck for you. This card is a favorable card and can be seen as good luck, Capricorn the Fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, with this card being here in your environment with the Five of Pentacles, this person's going to come in from out of the cold. I feel like this person made their own cold, made their own uh, cold life. And they're going to come in from lack, their own lack. They created it. You create everything in your life anyway. Yeah, the other day my sister, my, my daughter said to me, I deserve it. She got some really great job. She goes, I deserve it. And, you know, I told her that she deserved it. But I just meant that we're all meant to, you know, have happy things in our life. But she took it like everything randomly happens. And so, you know, then I, you know, sent her another another message. And I said, you know, you pat yourself on the back. You created that, you created that job for yourself. Like I want her to understand that she's in control. All right. And stop thinking that, you know, just stuff happens all the time. No, everything is, you know, so the mature woman, uh, Capricorn, right with her, her dress that, you know, uh, looks always very restrictive. Yeah. I don't like this dress at all. Uh, she's dating herself. She is, and she's an attractive woman. She definitely is. And this is in your hopes. Maybe you are the mature woman and that's good, right? Yeah. And so, you know, I mean, yeah, maybe you are, but she, this woman sits with money a little bit, but you know, not everybody has to right? in particular, in this particular reading, but you're hoping here that you're going to, I feel like you're hoping this person will just mature because it's showing up at the world. Can you grow up already, please? And so you never told them that way though, Capricorn, you didn't, you're just, your love here is like, 
You're a good person, Capricorn. You're kind. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have here. We have uh, the message card. So, the, wow, Capricorn. This person's going to message you pretty soon here about the fact that they're either leaving something or they're going to be free soon. Yeah. Free to be who we are. Free to love who I want. Right. And here, Capricorn, we're going to go to their extended. The first card they have is standing alone. Right. So the man's here and he's, you know, he's standing here in the dark. Oh, he's standing here. And, you know, right here is uh, this big cliff that this house sits on. And, you know, it oversees it oversees the, you know, the sea. It's very it's very cool here. But the ships are out here almost like, you know, like I want my ships to come in. He's looking out here. But this house is really what he wants. He wants to be happy or he wants a new life and cross. And he, they know they can have it. They know they can. This is like, I, I want to have this. I know I can have this, but I need change. I need to create my own change. Like I'm saying here, I need to step into my power. And the loving yourself card shows up as we see this person on the bottom and we can see their legs here. But this is really in helping this woman, right? And bringing the mirror here, but bringing the mirror and trying to show the power never to say, uh, you know what, you're, you don't have any self-worth. What are you doing? Stop being a weenie. And this is possibly what you've done with this person. Like you showed them uh, with your, you know, with your friendship or with your love. Because this card, one of these cards was speaking of friendship, right? And so you showed them that. And now this is supporting them. And it is challenging them because it's challenging them to make change. That's all it is. And the loving gaze is why it's all happening. And this is one of the few, few people who are not wearing their birthday suit. Yeah. And here she is, and the devil is behind her playing this, this, this flute, right? Or this, you know, and this is, these eyes shine with radiant love. Oh, the way her eyes radiate. The sound of flutes and music fills the air. So much energy can come from a seductive stare, a playful glare. Eyes full of passion and joy. She fixes her loving gaze to express her story. The eyes are the gateway to the soul, and through them she allows her inner being to pour forth. What do you see? This person is on the brink here of showing up for you because this loving gaze is showing that they want to step into their power and they're going to. Yeah, I believe they are here. And it's showing up right here in the outcome. The nine of the seven, the seven, uh, this message card, <laughs> I go too fast here. The message card, Capricorn, uh, and here's the letter and here's the nine of pentacles. And this is, uh, in this reading, it talks about being free and single. We even have the freedom card here. Capricorn, right? Yeah, freedom. We're not talking about somebody giving you something for free here. Uh, that's a whole different thing, right? Yeah, this is uh, this is a very give and take situation that they want. And we're going to end the reading here. And we're going to see all about them. We're going to have a 10 card spread, Capricorn, uh, where your person knows that they could have happiness with you. And let's see what they're going to do. Yeah, but we, yeah, we got little hints here. We do. Uh, I really want to see that. It's going to be very, uh, very telling. I feel like it is all about their feelings, like what they're really holding back or what you might not know or what they haven't told you fully. Because in this reading, there's, there's like, there's, they haven't released or re not released, revealed everything to you. I don't mean like I'm just coming. I just mean like what they really feel. There's a lot of feelings that have kind of been kept under the surface for, for whatever reason, could be several reasons. We're going to end this. We're also going to have their tarot spread Capricorn and the tarot spread will be, you know, amongst others, it will be similar to this, but we're also going to see how they feel Capricorn and also, uh, like what they've been hiding. We're going to look at that or what's unknown about them and what they want, what they fear and all this kind of stuff, right? Yeah. Action they're going to take. Th so thank you so much, you guys. Private readings are open. Please see the about tab. They're all super affordable, the extendeds, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe.